Yo, what is up everybody, it's your boy Fatal Aquatic, and today I'm bringing you an episode of Call of Duty Ghost Gun Guide. So as you can see, we're taking a look at the Vector CRB submachine gun, and it's actually a pretty decent weapon, I like it. Now, as far as the iron sights go, they're not too bad, they're not too good, I'd put them, you know, average. I would recommend a red dot sight, but that's completely up to you. You know, if you feel comfortable with the iron sights, you think you could have more... You know, you, you think you could have better attachments other than the red dot sight, that's fine. You know, I'm just using the red dot sight because I feel comfortable with it. I use red dot sight for a lot of my weapons. But, that is completely up to you. So, that's for the iron sights. Now, as for the damage goes, it does 45 up close and 20 at a distance. Which is above average for the submachine guns, not too bad. It's actually the best vector ever made out of all the Call of Duties. As you know, the Vector appeared in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and now it's appearing in Call of Duty Ghost. And it's the best Vector statistic-wise on Call of Duty Ghost, so that's always good. And uh, so that's for the damage. Now, for the rate of fire, it does 759 RPM, and it does 893 RPM with the rapid fire attachment. So that's up to you if you want to use rapid fire to get, you know, an extra 100 and... 24 or whatever it is uh, rap, uh, RPM I don't recommend rapid fire but if you guys like running rapid fire on all your submachine guns that's fine it's not gonna hurt the weapon at all you know you'll be able to take out enemies a lot faster I'm sure but uh, yes yeah, so that's completely up to you if you want to run the rapid fire so now as far as for the starting ammo it is 32 plus 64 and uh, I actually think that's slightly above average too for the uh, submachine guns so that's always good now for the uh, magazine size, it's uh, 32 and uh, 48 with extended mags. So, uh, if you want to throw in extended mags, get that extra 16 bullets. That's up to you. Um, extended mags is not a bad option, actually, for attachments on the weapon on this weapon. And uh, so that's it for the stats of the vector. Now for my recommended class setup. Um, obviously, you got the red dot sight I'm using in this gameplay. And I also got the muzzle brake attachment just to get that more range on this weapon. I didn't mention this earlier, but the range is actually pretty low on this weapon. Uh, it's not that good. It, it is a, a slightly above, or slightly below average, I should say, for uh, the submachine guns in this game. So I would recommend a muzzle brake attachment. So, and now, for my perks, I have on, of course, you got Marathon Agility. I use it for every submachine gun class. So Marathon, Agility, Side Advance an option, Resistance is an option as well. I got ready up, and I got dead silence on. So that's for my, for my perks I have on. Pretty standard for the submachine gun classes. I always use uh, you know, uh, dead silence for a lot of my classes just to be stealthy. So that is it for the vector CRB guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this guy helps you to give you some you know information about the vector, and you know, hopefully it'll make you become a better player. And uh, so yeah, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. As always, this is your boy Fatal Aquatic, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.